Good morning. So, Kellogg's White Chocolate Cocoa Pops. Apparently a big hype bar at the moment. I tried to get some last week, couldn't get them anywhere. People are even resorting to paying triple the price online. So that leads me to believe they must be nice. Or are they? A lot of people are just saying they look like normal regular Rice Krispies. But they can't be because they've got white chocolate in them, right? And now someone's decided to cut the lawn while I'm trying to do my video. Brilliant. Anyway, don't let that bother us. What's different about them, apart from there's no cocoa on them? And also, the 30% less sugar. Now, have Kellogg's taken out the 30% less sugar because they're worried about obesity in children, or is it to appear more to the health conscious or a bit worried about sugar now? Or is it down to the sugar tax, which launched two years ago? So probably not, even though it took Kellogg's 59 years to launch this new product. I don't know. But I mean, it's actually only 17 grams of sugar in here, but a whopping 0.68 grams of salt. Compared to the last Cocoa Pops, which had No, it doesn't even say anything about sugar. So, is it gonna affect the taste? That's what we all wanna know. So I've got my bowl. I mean, this is not my regular cereal bowl, obviously. I mean, I've chosen this bowl so we can see if it turns the milk white chocolatey. I mean, we probably won't be able to see it, but in the interest of science and all that, we'll have a look. So, first, let's get them open. I do actually look like regular Rice Krispies. The smell, you got a big waft of vanilla. Let's give it a little taste without the milk. Maybe I've got a little coating of something. It's not really taste. Or white chocolate. But maybe the white tastes different when you add the milk. I'm not going to drown it with milk. I'm just going to put a little bit on. That'll do. Listen to that. Snack, crackle, and pop. Sure, these ain't rice crispies. I don't know. Anyway, do a little mix. Nice little crunch to one. I mean, let's taste some what's been coated in the milk a little bit more. There's a really nice vanilla taste coming through. I can't really taste much white chocolate at all. Well, it's not a bad cereal. I mean, by I'm taking out the 30% of the sugar, but not as sweet. But generally, not bad. But there's something missing. You know what that is? That 30% of the sugar. I think that will probably make them taste a lot better. So there's only one thing for it really, and that's to put the 30% sugar back into the cocoa pot. Normally now, do a little bit of a mix. And there we have it. Cocoa Pop Infusion. I know I mentioned infusions quite a lot, but this might work. And most importantly, we've now got that 30% less sugar we were missing. Much better. I mean, as a new product by Kellogg's, they're not bad at all. I'm not saying you should all 
do an infusion, add bed cocoa pops because that's just crazy, right? But that's just me. It costs two pound in Asda. You want to roll back? They're probably going to be three pound plus, like they are in Morrison's and Tesco soon. So I'm glad I tried them. Obviously, I'll be trying them again because I've got four bucks. But give them a go. You never know. You might think different. So if you found the review helpful, pop it a like, put a comment in the box below. And let me know if you tasted them, what you thought. And if you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe for more. I'll see you soon.